think to have a truly creative business, you, you have to allow the creative industries in. Inviting poets, musicians, those sort of people into the business, buying of their, of their skills, celebrating their skills, it just adds to the pleasure of the business. And I don't really see how you can have a business, a good business, without all that. For me, it's, it's a, jumping across from music to perfume it seems very natural to me. It doesn't seem at all weird. And especially as I have synesthesia, which I sort of never really understood, the fact that I smell things in lines or circles or in shapes. Quite often it's down to which bands inspire you as well. Because Radiohead, you know, I, I think it's quite famous, Radiohead inspired the karma. And it was the layers, the creamy layers of music that I wanted to recreate. But it wasn't just that. You've got the hippie shop fitters saying, bad karma man, you've got the hippie incense in, in Kensington Market and so on. So you, you, all of that stuff crowds in in the end. And I suppose that, that often makes a very good product. Both Simon Emerson and I had synesthesia. He knew that, we worked together over and over and over again on stuff. I mean, he spoiled me. He, he enabled me to produce some albums alongside him. And, and so, yeah, so doing perfumery with him, I can remember when we did the first Lush Fest, how much of, of my perfumery was linked into that and how much, you know, he was part of it. Every band there, you know, whether it was Shima and her sound, then you come into the spas. We wanted to do an English spa, and I knew Simon Emerson because I'm a bird watcher and so is he. Hayley and I talked about it and um, decided that it would be lovely to ask Simon if he would do some music. There's a whole vibe of contemporary English culture um, which is there to be celebrated. I didn't want to do um, just a corny English heritage soundtrack. You know, I really wanted to do something that was that, that, that represented, you know, cutting edge English culture, but was rooted in the past and tradition. There's no set formula to how a spa treatment is developed. Inspiration can come from either customer feedback or a director's idea, but it's a very collaborative affair. Music is probably one of the most impactful elements to the whole treatment. The music soundtrack takes you on a journey and we weave in sounds from nature, birdsong, inspiration from various trips that the musicians go on, and it's designed to take you away into a world of imagination. We ended up working very closely with the, with the therapist. I turned around to Mark and said, look, this is really, really going to sound great with an orchestral score. It will sound so much better. And he went, fine. So does that mean we can use an orchestra? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, book an orchestra. started to develop the treatments, to have music specially done for the treatment, it made them so powerful. You had the music, you had the touch, you had the smell, you had the product. Sending two musicians off several trips to India to explore their own musical roots, and then coming back with such a stunning soundtrack. I can hear all the sounds of, that they recorded and the music while I'm talking. I mean, it's just brilliant. And that's not inspiring a perfume or a product. That's inspiring a whole set of treatments uh, with a theme that people can go and just, just disappear into. So music comes in in 101 ways. And how did Simon Emerson help there? Well, he was just a brilliant band leader, a brilliant creator. It hasn't really gone because his music's still here. The way we work together is still here. So inspiration can come in many different forms. It doesn't have to just be music. But music is very powerful. There's no two ways about it. 